Hey guys, today we're going to look at monetary incentives. So we're going to answer the question, what are different types of monetary incentives and how can they be calculated? So a monetary incentive is an offer made by a company to the seller that reduces the total price in order to persuade the buyer to make a purchase. So since we are reducing the total price, in general, we're going to be subtracting these things from the total price. Here are some different types of mon monetary incentives. So the first is a sale when the cost of an item is discounted for a period. Another type is a rebate. This is when the customer pays the full cost and then submits a reimbursement or a rebate to the man manufacturer. And then the customer will get some other money back. And then coupons are an amount, percentage, or dollar amount that is deducted from the price of an item. So to find the total cost, we will subtract these things from the original total price. So let's look at number one. It says the original price of a desk chair is $60. Which coupon is a better deal? $15 off purchases of $50 or more or 30% off of any item. So let's figure out both of these things. Um, this would qualify for the $15 off $50 or more. So to figure out the cost there, I would do 60 minus 15, which is 45. So that first coupon would make the total cost $45. And then the second coupon would be 30% off any item. So the first thing I need to do is figure out 30% of $60. So I would do 60 times 0.3. And 60 times 0.3 is $18. So that would be the discount. And then to figure out the cost, I would do 60 minus 18, which is $42. So the second deal, the 30% off any item would be a better deal. because they would end up paying $42 instead of $45. Okay, let's look at number two. It says the original price of a phone case is $34. Which coupon is the better deal? So the first coupon is for 50% off any item, and then the second coupon is save 15 on any purchase over $30. So let's figure out the 50% off any item first. I would do the original $34 times 0.50 to figure out how much they would get discounted. And 34 times 0.5 is 17. And then to figure out how much they would pay, I would do 34 minus the discount of $17, which is 17. So there is how much they would pay with that first coupon. Let's figure out the second coupon. It says save $15 on any purchase over 30. So it, this one would be 34 minus the $15. And 34 minus 15 is $19. So it looks like this first one is a better deal, 50% off any item because they would pay $17 instead of 19. Okay, let's look at this next one. It says two stores are having a sale on appliances. At store A, all appliances are on sale for 20% off. Store B, all appliances are on sale for one fourth off the original price. Which store would have a better sale price for a refrigerator with an original price of $1,200? So let's figure out store A's cost they are taking 20% off. So I would do 1200 times 0.20 to figure out the discount. And 1200 times 0.20 or 0.2 is 240. And then I would do 1200 minus 240 to figure out what the cost would actually be. And 1200 minus 240 is $960. So at store A, they would pay $960. Okay, now let's figure out store B. So at store B, it is one fourth off. 
So let's figure out what one fourth off of 1200 would be by doing 1200 divided by four, which is 300. And then to figure out how much they would pay, I would do 1200 minus 300, which is $900. So it looks like store B is going to be the better deal because you would pay $900 there instead of $960 like with store A. Okay, number four says John buys wants to buy four new phones for his family. Each phone costs $900. Company C offers a 10% discount when at least four phones are purchased. Company D offers a 5% discount plus a $100 rebate when at least four phones are purchased. Which company would have a better sale price for the phones? So let's figure out both of these. Let's start by finding just the cost that he's going to pay in general. He's going to buy four new phones for $900. So to figure out the cost, we would do 900 times four, which is $3,600. So he's looking at an original price of $3,600. Now let's figure out which company has the better monetary incentive or discount. So company C offers a 10% discount. So let's figure out what 10% of that 3,600 original cost would be. And 3,600 times 10% or 0.10 would be $360. And then to figure out how much he's gonna pay, I would do 3,600 minus 360. And 3,600 minus 360 would be $3,240. So with company C, he would pay $3,240. Okay, now let's figure out how much he would pay with company D. At company D, he's gonna get a 5% discount plus a $100 rebate. So let's figure out the 5% discount and then subtract $100 from that. So to find the 5% discount, I would do 3,600 times 0.05 and 3,600 times 0.05 is $180. Now let's figure out how much he's gonna pay. The original was 3,600. He's gonna get the 5% discount, so subtract 180, and then a $100 rebate, so subtract another 100. So 3,600 minus 180 minus 100 is $3,320. So it looks like company C is going to be the better deal with the $3,240. Okay, let's look at our last one. It says Maggie is looking for the bakery that has the best deal on wedding cakes. The original price of the wedding cake that she wants is $400. The table shows the different sales that each bakery is having, which bakery has the best price on Maggie's wedding cake. So I need to figure out all of these different discounts, what she would be paying, and then we'll figure out which one has the best price. So the cake she wants is $400. Let's figure out 15% off the original price by first doing 400 times 0.15. This is for simple sweets. We would do 400 times 0.15 and 400 times 0.15 is 60. So that would be $60 off and then 400 minus 60 is 340. So at the first place, she would pay $340. Okay, let's figure out how much she would pay at Perfect Pastries, which is $50 off the original price. So we would just do 400 minus 50, which is $350. So, so far it's looking like 
Simple Sweets is the cheapest. Let's figure out Twisted Treats. So Twisted Treats is one fifth off the original price. So I need to find out one fifth of 400 first. So I would do 400 divided by five or 400 times one fifth. And 400 divided by five is $80. So then I would do 400 minus 80, which is 320. So it looks like Twisted Treats is the cheapest at $320.